Hey guys, you want to come in? Got another battle replay here for you on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges. Welcome back to the channel once again, guys, and welcome back to Alexandria Arcosia Town Center sitting right there. And I see some Cav. Do you see some Pontic Cavalry here? You have some uh, of a different faction unit out there. But let's get into the attackers first. We'll take a look here. We have a 3v3, like I said. Uh, first attacking army we'll take a look at here is Syracuse, but I don't think this is regular Syracuse. I want to say this is a DLC uh, Syracuse. Syracuse being commanded by Nero Vereen, and he has six uh, elite hoplites, one of those being his general, three native Sicilian tribesmen, two mercenary hoplites, four Cretan archers, one Sicilian peltast, and a mercenary Thessalian cavalry? Yes, mercenary Thessalian cavalry. Moving down here, we do take a look at Athens being commanded by Go Shibumi, and he has eight Thorax Swordsmen, three Thoreo Spears, General is a picked hoplite. He also has three Cretan Archers, one regular Archer, a Tarantine Cavalry, and a Scorpion. And then finally, we have Egypt being commanded by uh, Rubix, and he has eight Thorax Swordsmen, four Levy Thoreo Spears, General is a Royal Thorax Swordsman. He also has three Cretan Archers, one Giant Ballista, and a Tarantine Cavalry. Now getting in onto the defenders first, we will take a look here at Pontus. We have Pontus being commanded by Audasis, and he has eight Pontic Swordsmen, one of those being the General, two Thoreo Spears, two Naked Swords, one Eastern Spearman, three Eastern Slingers, one Eastern Archer, two Cappadocian Cavalry, and one Scythian Horse Archer out there, so, uh, Mercenary Scythian uh, Horse Archer, sorry. Then we have a Carthage being commanded by Beaumontcito, and he has four Gallic Warriors, four Libyan infantry, three Samnite warriors, one Skutare, general as a bodyguard, three Cretan archers, one Balearic slinger, and a scorpion. And then finally, we have the Ioli being commanded by Why So Serious. And he has six Sher Sherdman swordsmen, one of those being his general, two Neuragic runners, one Sardi Hillman, three noble Sardi archers, and one Sardi slinger. So there you go, army compositions out of the way. I want to say that we have, obviously, Ioli, but I want to say that the uh, we are two DLC factions in here. If you guys want to let me know what you guys think, comment section below, obviously. But hopefully you guys enjoy the battle. Let's dive on in here. We've been doing enough talking. Let's get it going. Right, so here we are diving into the action. It does look like one of the Cappadocian cavalry here has been surrounded. Uh, we have the Egyptian and Athenian Tarantine cavalry causing a little bit of a havoc, causing a little bit of a problem for this Cappadocian, but the other two units of cavalry now making their way back over here for Pontus, so that may end up going in Pontus' favor? I'm not sure. I don't know. It looks like these guys are still kind of running away. Maybe this Sarantine's going to run away again. We do have some losses here, though. He's only lost one man, four kills, and this unit here has lost four, again, with one kill. So let's get over here. It does look like we have some units inside the settlement. All right, good. We have the Sicilian tribesmen have made their way in here for... Uh, Syracuse, I almost said Athens, and I just want to say thank you to all of the attackers for picking very similar banners. Really, <laughs> I really appreciate that. It's really awesome. Uh, I don't Honestly, I don't really care. But uh, yeah, just figured I'd poke a little joke. So we got the Gallic Warriors here. They were holding for a little bit, 15 dead out of that unit, 54 kills though. I mean, but they're taking on infantry that doesn't really have, they have 10 armor. They're not really very impressive. I think that they may be worse than plebs, or they might be the same as plebs. I. I'd, I'd honestly, I do not remember Pleb's stats, uh, but I do know that they are dying very, very quickly, and the attackers are now capturing this front tower here, so they won't have to worry about their uh, beloved little baby tower wall right here. And I'm calling it a baby one because it's only four towers. Usually I've seen like five or six, so, but I don't mean any insult by that. Uh, but yeah, so it's got a little baby tower wall right there. Oh, 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 wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chasing far. Wow. Tarantine Cavalry way over here. He's lost 17 men now. Probably getting hit by that Arrow Tower as well. Cappadocian still giving chase. And they're going to catch him. Oh, he's still trying to run. Now, this is actually really uh, interesting to me because this is causing the Athenian player, at least, to not be able to really focus unless he doesn't care about this cavalry unit anymore, which is quite possible. Uh, but it's kind of taking away his attention from the front part of the settlement. So maybe sometimes bringing extra cav on attack, not always the best idea, because you can get easily distracted making sure that that cavalry doesn't die. Again, like I said, unless you don't care. Uh, because really you're only trailing away one unit of Cappadocian cavalry right now, so it's not really all that much of a loss. There's still these other two units here 
uh, as well for Pontus. But right, back inside the settlement, we have some Pontic swordsmen now taking on some Thorax swordsmen and wonderful javelin volleys coming from the Gallic warriors. And we also have some Sardi slingers there starting to toss their stones. Now we have a pretty dangerous unit right there. Lead Hoplite starting to make their way forward. 105 armor, 42 melee attack, 30 weapon damage. They can do a lot of work. Obviously, uh, they're... Melee defense only being 65, but it will go up once they go into Hoplite Wall. But there's Thorax. I kind of feel bad for them. They were thrown in there with no real cover, no real assistance. So uh, we don't have any attacking ranged units up near the walls yet. Actually, wait, hold on. We do have one. We have a Sicilian Peltast have made their way in here for Syracuse. Uh, but no ranged, no, like, archers have made their way really close to the wall. We have a unit of the Cretan archers here. Uh, but nothing really going to be able to get any shots inside the settlement. A lot of walls have been knocked down. Actually, hold on. We have another Pontic Swordsman there chase away some Levi Thoreos. Did they get any kills? No. Did they get any kills? No. Okay. Well, did they? Hold on. No kills and no kills, no losses. Okay. Just want to make sure that I am seeing that correctly. And, yeah, we got a ring around the rosy going all the way around over here. I mean, the uh, Athenian Cavalry can just come this way and go all the way back around to the front of the settlement. Um, I wonder if Pontus just peels off. Pontus could easily just go right back inside the settlement and not even care about this unit anymore. Uh, honestly, I think I would do that. I don't think I would continue chasing. But, I mean, I'm not playing in this game and uh, I play different than other people do. So, maybe, oh wait, hold on. Maybe he's going to catch them now. Did he catch them? Oh, he did catch them. Okay. Kind of. Looks like maybe the Athenian player just gave up on this unit, finally. Cappadocians getting in there. Yeah, they're fighting. They're definitely fighting. Okay, so more than likely that's going to be a Cappadocian victory. Yeah, you can see they're winning decisively. There you go. Okay, so I guess maybe it was worth the chase. Maybe it was worth the chase. But all right, here we go. Native Italian tribe. I'm sorry, Native Sicilian tribesmen charging in once again. Going to get in some Eastern Spearmen who are actually... Because the uh, Sicilian tribesman unit was so small, the Eastern Spearmen were actually able to surround them. Oh, stabbed in the face. And I think they broke. Yeah, I think they broke. Yeah, they all oh, they they completely shattered. They got four kills though. I mean, that's can't possibly be terrible for that unit. Four kills. This unit's got forty. Whoa. All right, hold on. I retract my previous statement about that first one. Y'all need to step your game up. This one's got 40 kills and a chevron? They had to have started with a chevron. There's no way. There's no way. All right, but here we go. Thoreo Spears going to use that uh, that uh, 26 charge bonus. I was going to say 27, but I think that's the Basilian Thoreo Spears have a 27 charge bonus. But still, 26, not a bad unit to cycle charge with. Thoreo Spears, really not a bad unit to cycle charge with. To get that good charge, it's a 26, and it's not a bad thing to do. It's really not a bad unit to use. But Easter Spearman now retreating away. We've got some Carthaginian Skatari coming up. Oh boy. I'm a big fan of these Skatari. Carthaginian Skatari, uh, I like them. I like them. They're good. They are good. Obviously, let me know the other faction that Skatari are from in Grand Campaign. Feel free. Let me know in the comment section below. I like trying to get you guys involved in stuff instead of just talking to you for 45 minutes about a replay. Get involved a little bit. Talk to me. Here we go. Botic Swordsman, Thorax Swordsman. Took some serious losses on their way in. Javelin volleys, obviously Archer Towers as well, but the Archer Tower now going to be neutralized. So that is definitely going to help out for the attackers. We got some Botic Swordsman lined up with some Javelin. Oh, oh my God, they're getting hit back. Wow. A lot of Javelins just basically coming from every direction. Seems like every single direction. And that Pontic Swordsman got wrecked. Do we have arch? Oh, we have archers helping. Ah, I did not see them originally. The archers are giving assistance finally for the attackers. Needling down a unit of uh, the Pontic Swordsman here, though they are still okay. There's 85 left in the unit. Gallic Warriors charging up for Carthage. Cycle charge here. Getting that 20 charge bonus in there. Some more Pontic Swordsmen over here. Still holding this, or at least keeping this neutralized. Uh, but it does look like this Pontic... Oh, no, sorry. They said that they were losing. Now they're winning slightly. 
So a little bit of a back and forth here between these Thorax and Pontic Swordsman. 119 Pontics, and we have 91 Thorax Swordsman. But obviously the attackers, if they really wanted to, they could just cycle this out and more than likely crush this unit of Pontic Swordsman. But back over on the other side, let's... Oh, we got artillery firing. Hold on. Let's get an idea. He's got 24 kills now. He's probably firing just straight in here. Let's see. Let's see where it says under fire. Anything under fire here? Where is he firing at? I don't... Oh, right there. Yeah, taking fire. But there's no way... Okay, so what else has he hit? He's hit other stuff. We got some neurogic runners making their way forward. Here we go. Second unit. Two units of neurogic runners making their way forward. So the Saudi Slingers right there, 22 kills. But the front line actually holding up. His Pontic Swordsman and Mercenary Galax doing a pretty solid job against holding back against these Thorax Swordsman. Breaking unit, actually. Uh, we have... Oh, wait, never mind. We got some Eastern Slingers that have come over. I was wondering what projectiles I was seeing there. So we have some Eastern Slingers from Pontus who have made their way up over here. They're actually getting some really, really solid shots into the flank of this uh, Thorax unit. Doing a pretty good job. Pretty good job. Now the Neurogic Runners making their way up. Let's take a look at that weapon damage. 55 weapon damage. What's that uh, armor piercing? 15 armor piercing. My God, yeah. Now I completely understand why the attackers are like, oh, pull back. These guys are going to do some work. Here they come. The Rogic Runners charging on in. Second one coming in. I think the second one's joining. No, second one's still way back there. What is their armor's 35, melee defense 30. Oh, good. Nice rear charge there, too. Bounced off. Getting a solid rear charge there. This front now going to be taken over. The attackers were able to break this down. Again, I'm guessing it's the archers giving assistance. Artillery fire still just blasting into the settlement gear. What do we have? 60 kills now. Okay, so about 37 more kills uh, than last time that we saw. 100 kills for this Eastern Archer unit, though. They still have ammo. Might want to consider moving them out of the way. Back over here, archers still, I'm sorry, slingers still firing away. Doing an okay job, getting some good rear shots, flanking shots, whatever you want to call it. That Easter, oh wow, that elite arch, uh, elite hoplite unit got eaten. 20, no way. How many kills did they get? Did that say that that elite spearman unit only got 25 kills? Elite hoplite, oh, 68 kills. Oh, there was 25 of them left when they broke, okay. I'm sorry, I, I thought that that said that they only got 25 kills. That's crazy. But the defender's doing a pretty good job right now holding everything with their range units. They're using minimal units on the front line here. Doesn't look like this is going to be another bit of a defense. Probably just going to let these Pontics and Gallic Warriors finally get taken out. A lot of javelins being used on really beating up units here, though, from the attackers. I'm guilty of it as well, so I'm not. That's not really a criticism. I, I, I'm guilty of it as well. Got slingers still firing over here. Eastern slingers. We got the Cretan archers here of Carthage, starting to get some shots again. No real pressure from this side just yet. This elite hoplite has moved forward. He's lost five men. Guess he got shot. Maybe he got shot by one of these Eastern Archers. Or the Eastern Archer. The, I don't think he got shot by the Slinger. Maybe the Eastern Archer shot him. But the Elite Hoplite has moved up a little bit in this road. Staying here on this road, he hasn't moved very far forward at all. That's pretty much his stationary point right there. But this front line does look like it's finally getting ready to completely collapse, at least right inside the settlement. Final unit of Pontic Swordsman holding on for dear life against some Thorax Swordsman. But that is going to be the end of that unit here shortly. We do have some more Eastern Spearmen here and a Thoreo Spear of Pontus. So Pontus is still sacrificing a lot of his units to continue trying to hold this front line.
Slinger? Oh, sorry. Scorpion? Where's that? Where's the scorpion? Right there? Yep, Carthaginian scorpion. That's a really far range. He's firing very far, but he's got 69. Giggity, 69 kills. Let's see if he gets any more. Oh, got a couple more. About four more. Yeah, four more kills on that volley. Okay. Uh, Eastern Archer. Oh, sorry. Eastern Slingers. Oh, they're out of ammo. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of matters, but it doesn't at the same time. But we did have a breakthrough here in the center line there. Elite Hoplites making their way forward again. Pontic Archers. Eastern Archers just hanging out here. They have 134 kills, though, so it probably wouldn't be that much of a loss for them to uh, to lose, obviously. Threo Spears probably about to suffer a rear charge from these elite hoplites, so they're just going to let the thorax make, my, 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 you know, switch them out. Nope, they're charging in. Okay. So the elite hoplites are going to make their way over here and help break this unit of Threo Spears. I'm not sure why he columned them up like that, though. I don't know what that was about. Maybe a, uh, to get the mass charge on it? I, I don't know why. I mean, he could have just charged. Honestly, he could have just charged them in, but it, like he did like this column and then charged like that. I know you guys just saw it, but I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of that was. I don't think it helped anything stat-wise, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was a mass thing. Maybe it was massing the unit up to get a the full-on charge. Oh, we got Saudi Slingers. 132 kills. Eastern Slingers now getting blasted. God. Oof. Range units for the defenders now starting to suffer a little bit. She was going to finally break through. We got the Sicilian Peltast. 101 kills for them. Didn't see any of those Javelin Volleys, so I do apologize for missing uh, all of them. Uh, but obviously, they did a pretty good job. 100 and, 107, I'm sorry, 101 kills, was it? With their javelins, now up to 110, with charging it into the back of that uh, Thoreo Spear. Again, no real movement on this side, but we have some more coming in. Mercenary Hoplites. I don't know how to say that. Ciliorii? I don't know how to say that one. Uh, we do have the Thessalian Cavalry has made their way in here for Syracuse, though. That is a unit that the defenders are more than likely going to want to keep an eye on. Very heavy shock cavalry. Can do some really solid damage. The attackers are on their way over here. So they have started pressing in on this side. We have some Libyan infantry here. Another unit. Oh, that's a that's the Cappadocian cavalry. Okay, so he came back inside after his victory. 47 kills total for that unit. Again, the other cavalry over there, Cappadocian. He's got four kills, lost three men. And the uh, Scythian horse archers lost two with zero kills to this point. But it does like look like pretty much the attackers are inside. Uh, still leaving a unit of Cretan archers out there for Syracuse, but he could easily just tuck them right inside the wall there. Thorax swordsmen for Athens making their way in. So Egypt is inside the settlement. Uh, oh, Cappadocian cavalry. Looks like he's trying. I think he was trying to charge the Sicilian Peltast. He's trying to come across. Oh, I think. Oh, he's trying to come across here. He's trying to sneak through there, but it's not going to make it. Nope, he's not going to make it. It was good, job, good try, though. He's at least, if nothing else, even if he didn't make it, he, he he interrupted the archers for just a couple of seconds to push them away. Cavalry, going to take a couple more losses, but that actually allowed the Cretan archers here and another of the uh, noble Sardi archers to start getting some shots, so they didn't really have to worry about battling these Cretans. So I would say it was a kind of a worthwhile sacrifice. He only lost... Two, two cavalry, two horses, I think. Yeah, it looks like he only lost two. Uh, maybe he lost a couple more. Three, four. Four unit, four men. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's still a pretty solid unit of Cappadocian cavalry. Still 52 out of 80, so it's still pretty strong. Got the Libyan infantry making their way forward. The elite hoplites, 74 kills. 80 men left in the unit. Cretans here for Carthage now firing into the Cretans of Egypt. Show, trying to make sure that I say the right fact. Oh, no, they're not firing it. Oh! Ow! That probably didn't feel nice. Are they all dead? Did they all just... Yeah, they all died. Okay, good. So nobody's over there suffering. That's that's a good thing. Uh, Sardi Noble Archers going to start moving forward here. Noble Sardi Archers, sorry. Looks like they're going to start trying to fire. Help this Cretan Archer out. 
pushing the ball. Okay, so the Egyptian archers are now running away, running away. 43, 59, and 121. Good amount of kills there. Good amount of kills there. Libyan infantry doing the job, holding the line. Second unit of Libyan infantry right there behind them, though. They have taken some losses. Down to 137 with 30 men, 30 kills, I should say. But now this is a little bit of a problem. Cheap Thoreo Spears, Levy Thoreo Spears. Not that expensive, they're like 400. So they're not that expensive. They're not like a terribly great unit in melee, but that is a ton of javelins that they have. Each of them has five javelins. So it's a baby Thoreo Spear unit. They just don't cost as much. Obviously, they're not as dangerous, but still the javelins makes them dangerous. Hear these guys laughing. That's crazy. So the elite hoplite just got broken. 90 kills. Thorax swordsman taking on some Libyan infantry. 85 men against 74. But we have another thorax making their way up here. Another Egyptian thorax coming up. Gonna have a little bit of a switch out there. Let's see, have the attackers, oh, they have moved up over here. Okay, so we have the elite hoplite general. So Syracuse is now beginning the assault over on this side. They have captured the front, this, this tower there. That is a problem, but are these? Uh, they are firing, they're firing back there. Yes, they're firing into the back of that. That's great, that is really a good job. Good angle, good positioning. Unfortunately, they don't have the tower. So this unit is getting shot, but I don't think they're Oh, they just lost two. So it's like they get they, they lose every time. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, they're still getting shots into the back of these guys, which is definitely going to help out in the long run. 105 armor for these guys. 84 melee defense. 53 melee attack. And the elite hoplites, 42, 30. 82 melee defense. 105 armor. So very solid, uh, very solid amount of armor. Very high melee defense here for these boys as well. Pontic Swords, we're going to try and do what they can, but they're not really going to be able to hold. That's a lot of armor, 105 armor. These horse archers pulling away, 42 kills. Still have their bows, so they could still maybe do some damage down the line. Down! Let's get back over this side. This side is looking like it's starting to fall apart. The Rogic Runner is going to come over here and get that uh, 15 AP in here, that 55 damage. If only their melee attack was a little bit higher, this would be a, they would be a really dangerous unit. But, I mean, the Rajic Runners are pretty nasty anyway. I've seen them before. I haven't really used them very much. I love the, the punch fists that they have. Look at that. They just punch people in the face. It's awesome. Come on, get a punch off. Oh. Punch him. He's right there. Boom. <laughs> that guy got flipped over. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, that was brutal. Yeah, see that punching? So cool. I love it. I love that punch fist. I don't even know what the name of the weapon is, but it's a punch fist to me. You punch fist. I don't know. I don't know. I just like it. It's a cool weapon. All right, back over here. Syrian, I'm sorry, Scythian horse archers, 42 kills. So it doesn't look like they're really... Are they firing? I don't think they are anymore. They still have bows. Oh, there they go. Now they're starting to fire again. Firing into the back of the elites again, trying to burn them down. Elite general sitting right there. Still have a unit of the uh, hoplites right there. Attacking cavalry. Cap uh, the uh, Thessalian cavalry is there. We have a Torrentine cavalry there who's taking some damage. Don't see, I think the other one did end up getting taken out on the other side. Okay, uh, this does look like it's, a, it, it appears to be almost over, at least on this side. Bounce power still looking in the negative for the defenders, but look at this, Creighton Archer, 238 kills, good job there. We have some Sam Knights, so the defenders not giving up on this side. Second unit of Sam Knights starting to make their way over here. 
So the defenders are not willing to give up over on this corner just yet, probably because there's two, three towers over on this side, so they don't want to just automatically just give it up. Sardi Archer's right there, getting shot by the, um, yeah, the Scorpions on top of the towers. Yeah, they're getting shot from the Scorpions. This tower doesn't reach all the way over there. But still, 207 kills with that unit. Good job. Now the Sam Knight's going to get involved. Beating up unit of Thorax. Sam Knight's going to chew right through that. What else do we have over here? We still have the... We got a pick top light general. Two pretty much healthy. This one's 159. This one's 130. Sam Knight's going to fall back. Neurogic Runner's going to go in yet again. Trying to just... I think they're just trying to use that uh, charge bonus with that... With that I think it's the AP damage. You're really trying to bank a lot on that AP damage, on that armor damage, armor penetration, I should say. But all right, here we go. Cappadocians again trying to slip through here. They might be able to. If he thins up, he might be able to sneak. Oh, never mind. These guys still have javelins, but he can still go. Get through there. Oh, my God. He got through, and there's still 31 of them in the unit, and they're going to get into these Cretans. Might be able to get into that Scorpion crew as well. Oh my god, the amount of javelins just went in here. I mean, it was worth a shot. It was absolutely worth a shot. Again, to me, I mean, he's, he's gotten some of the archers. He's killed some of the archers. Scorpion crew has lost some men as well. And now the defenders are actually pushing out a little bit. We have, oh, we've got the Pontic Swordsman General. Is he down to, is Pontus really that low on infantry? Oh, I think he is. Ooh, Pontus is really low on infantry. Okay. Uh, Pontic Swordsman there trying to hold on. we got some Cretan archers there firing into this Pontic Swordsman that's on the wall. Pontus is kind of running really low. This guy's two naked swords back there. Still has some Eastern Slingers, 47 kills there. Still has his cavalry outside. So he's not completely out, but this is not going to go well. Companion, heavy shock, very heavy shock cavalry blasting through. That's a Gallic warrior unit. Yes, it is. Nice charge there. Still getting more kills. Even though they're running away, they're still getting kills. Sam Knight's moving forward. That's a problem. Sam Knight's might be moving a little. Okay, I was going to say, they might be moving a little bit too far forward. 34 kills, taking on some Thorax Swords in there. I definitely, I definitely just saw some projectiles coming over here, though. Pick Top Light General going to charge on in. Oh, it's the Levy Thoreos. Yep, Levy Thoreos there, but we got Cretan Archers here getting a good angled shot. Firing into these Thorax. Trying to help these guys out. Here's that, here's that uh, ca the uh, Thessalian Cav, though. Uh-oh. Is he going to charge in on the back of his general? Or his allies general, I should say? Oh, he's going to try and sneak through that. Yep. He's going to be able to get around there, too. Is he? Oh, he got caught. Oh, I didn't. That Sam Knight fell back. He caught them. Good eye there by Carthage. Falling away from the combat with that Thorax Swordsman to be able to stop that Thessalian. Very solid job there. Really good job. Good eye. Carthaginian player. Solid job. Keeping this Thessalian Cav basically locked down, not letting them get through the lines. Because that could have been really bad. 67 charge bonus. Yeah, that could have definitely been bad. Uh, uh oh. We got a, a Sam Knight here, though. He's chasing. Yeah, he's. I mean, we have some Sherdman swordsmen making their way over here, but oh boy. Oh no. Sam Knight just took a big. Big charge there. Now it sounds like they're being surrounded. They're getting hit by a ton of murder sticks right now. Oh, that Sam Knight's done. That's it. Yep, done. Completely done. All right, so that Cap, that uh, Thessal, I keep wanting to say Cappadocia, but that Thessalian Cav looks like he's looking for another opportunity to get through there. And charge into another Sam Knight there. Get the Sherdman 
Swordsmen making their way forward. Let's get back over on the other side here real quick. I just want to dip over there. Naked Swords getting into the fight. The other Naked Sword is still gear. Okay. This Naked Sword getting in there, though. Doing damage. Ooh. No, no, no. They're Naked Swords. Don't. You're going to kill your own men. Don't fire at that. Please don't fire at that. Okay, they stopped. Right? Did they? Yes. It looks like they've all stopped. Okay. Oh, no. The Noble. I'm sorry. The <laughs> Cappadocia Caffrey from Pontus. Good move slipping in here. 81 kills now, getting into the ranged units of the attackers. Getting into the Cretan archers there. The Cretan archers there. Nicely done. 112 kills. Again, I mean, there's still elite hoplites there. Thorax swordsman there. So they might be able to slow this unit up. But there's only they've only lost 10 so far. They have only lost 10 so far. You could try and try and come around that way. To get more into these uh, these archers here. Looks like he's... I don't think he's caught, though. I mean, it looks... Yeah, it, it kind of looks like he could just come this way. Just back out of the fight a little bit and come that way. But he is now losing. Losing decisively. So it looks like that Cappadocian going to get taken out. 167 kills, though. Not terrible. Really not terrible at all. Uh, the Sherdsman, oh, got to pick the Hoplite Generals, move forward. Did the, did the attackers grab this tower? They did not. Oh, no. The Athenian Generals getting shot in the back this whole time. Back over on the other side. Looks like the defenders have been victorious, pushing the attackers back at least to this tower. So that's good there. Got the Noble Sardi Archers in the center here, starting to fire again. 82 kills, 48 missile damage, getting that precision shot ability off. 134 with the Sherdman horse, uh, Sherdman horseman, Sherdman swordsman there. Thessalian getting in here again, getting into more range, but he's starting to lose. 159 kills though. Balance of power is like starting to trickle back in favor, or back to favor, maybe like mid for the uh, for the defenders. But I mean, the, the attackers still have so much back there; they still have a lot. There's elites back here, the elite general. There's still a lot back here for the attackers. Another basically full elite there. Another basic full thorax swordsman. The royal thorax swordsman coming up. He's full. Ooh, yeah, there's still a lot left. Pectoplite general going to fall back. He only lost 52 men. How many kills did he get? 161, did that say? 161 kills. Nice. Still getting shot by this arrow tower, though. General's bodyguard moved over here for Carthage, keeping an eye, overseeing his men. Again, Cretan archers here, firing in, getting some shots in onto that picked hoplite general. He's lost two more since the last time we saw him. Ten kills for that Cretan, still firing. Trying to clip this general down. He's actually killed a couple more, five more. Oof. Picked hoplite general is now starting to lose. Down to 94 men left. All right, back into the center here. Sherdman Swordsman trying to hold on. 193, almost 200 kills with them. Pretty good job there. Sam Knights, oh, I'm sorry, Libyan Infantry holding back. We got some Pontic Swordsman, really, I'm sorry, Thoreo Spears charging in here. Going to try and hold back this Thoreo Spear of Athens. I don't think that's going to help, though. Yeah, the Athenian Thora Thoreos are winning currently. Oof. A headbutt killed that guy. A headbutt killed him. My God. Oof. Got a hard head. Uh, oh, wait a second. Look at this. The defender's pushing out. Pontus. Naked Swords coming over here. Neutral. At least starting to neutralize this tower. That's a good sign. He's going to pull back now, though. That's cool, though. He did get in here. He killed off that Cretan Archer unit. I don't think they have any ammo left anyway. They had 140 kills. But still, good move by Pontus doing they can do what they can do now this is a problem for the Sherdman swordsman they have 60 armor but they're just getting shot right in the flank that yeah they're done 225 kills though oh look at this got naked warriors up here holding the front line I don't think that's going to go very well for the naked warriors as they just took a volley in the back the Rayo spears my god 
Ioli charging out again. Getting into these thorax, getting into these Levy Thoreo spears. But again, regular Thoreo spears there of Athens tossing those murder sticks. Sam Knights being forced to fall back. But the Royal Thorax swords. Oh, sorry, picked top light general. Where's the Royal Thorax at? There he is. He's coming across here. Royal Thorax Swordsman now charging in. It's the general, obviously. Getting pushed back. The men of Ioli are being pushed back, but they're still trying to hold on. fighting there. Attackers starting to break through here. They have a Pontic Swordsman there. 102 Pontic Swordsman holding back Thorax right there. Balance power still in favor of the attackers but now, hold on a second, taking a quick look. Uh, lead Hoplite there. One, two, three. Looks like the attackers are starting to slowly run out of infantry but they probably still have a decent amount of javelins back there. This side has been cleaned up. Good job by the defenders. Negating this side as an attack source for the attackers. Good job. I wonder if they just run over here and capture this tower real quick. Maybe not. 26 and 43. So they got a little bit of men there, but oh God. We got the Aeluli General charging in. Cycle charge, or is it just a general running away? I think it's just a general pulling out of the fight. Ooh, this is getting uh, this is getting a little spicy over on this side. Defenders are actually starting to pull away. Sherdman swordsman, 259 kills there. Another unit there in the center, 56. The general walking away with 78, and now we have the noble Sardi archers moving forward. 105 kills for that unit, 53 there. Still have another Sam Knight here, Sam Knight here. Two Sam Knights, two Sam Knights left with a little bit of a Libyan infantry there, but it's basically the Ioli. We have a pretty strong, actually hold on, we still have a pretty solid unit of uh, Sam Knights right there. 77 Pontic Swordsman, Pontic Swordsman General still around. Was that Royal Thorax? Nope, picked up by General. Where's that Royal Thorax General? Is he gone? Nope, there he is. I didn't see his banner. So the Royal Thorax Swordsman General still putting up the fight. He just refreshed himself. That is good. Still taking on the uh, Libyan Infantry and the Sherdman Swordsman right there. 280 kills. Good amount of kills. Really solid amount of kills. It's just these Swordsmen holding the line. Another unit starting to make their way into position. Maybe a cycle out here. Oh, wait. Killing spree. Sheridan Horseman with the killing spree. Archer fire. Cretan archers firing in onto the attacking archers now. Pushing them back. Maybe shoot it to the back of that general as he runs away. Charging in there. 297. The shooter here, 69, jumping up. He's going to get over 100 easy. Over 100 easy in the center. The certain general has moved forward. 236 kills there. Another unit there, 179. The attackers starting to really slow down here now. Elite Hoplite General getting a good. Actually, it looks like he caught this uh, Sam Knight out. So that was a really solid move there by the, the uh, lead hoplite. 
Front line still starting to break. The, oh, he picked up by General has now fallen. Now the Royal Thorax Swordsman General charging up yet again. 305, 126, trying to get rid of this Thorax. He is winning though, for now. He was winning slightly, now it's down to winning. Maybe he finishes these two guys off. We do have shots coming here though. Balearic Slingers firing across the stones. Shots into the Thorax, now he's losing. All three of these units are losing. Wow, this is close. That's a close fight over on that side. Looks like the defenders are kind of tying this one up in the middle here, though. I mean, still have a lead hoplites, though. Lead hoplite General Samir. Here comes some more Levy Thoreo Spears. 135 men there. Oh, Sherman General's trying to get around. Here comes the Carthage General. He's charging in, joining the fight. But I think the Sherman General, I think he's just trying to get around. 62 Thorax Swordsman broke. Wow. They broke through. Yep. 27 seconds. I wasn't even paying attention there. Carthage General. He's going to go mop up these archers. Get them. Get some kills there, Carthage. Good job. The defenders. This, this right here. I mean, holding on this side was big. Not allowing the attackers to really have any way to get forward here. But breaking through this and wrapping around. That's it. That's it. That's done. End of the battle. Good job by the defenders. Let's get into the end of the army composition. See how we did, how, how everybody did. Battle was sent in by Why So Serious. Thank you very much again, Bud, for sending it over. Definitely a solid job with Ioli right there. Two thousand three hundred and eleven kills, most kills in the game. Four oh five with the general. Three twenty two, one eighty nine, two thirty seven, one seventy nine, two twenty five. Sheridan horseman, uh, Sheridan swordsman. His uh, noble archers here. One seventy eight, two oh seven. 68 there. That one, unfortunately, didn't get a lot. Slingers, 132. One of the Neurogic Runners there with 118. Audacious coming in with Pontus, 1,684 kills. 74 with the General. Uh, Cappadocci Cav there with 171. Good job. Eastern Archers, 141. One of his Eastern Slingers there with 180. Naked Swords, I mean, they, they got a good sneak kill in there, so one of the two of them did good. 90 kills there. The Rayo Spears, one unit with, with 99 kills. Pontic Swordsman... Uh, 111, 90, 99, I guess. A couple of kills in there. Getting in with Bomacito playing as Carthage, 2,206 kills. Good amount of kills. 34 with the General there at the end. Uh, 254 with his Scorpion. Good job. His Cretans, 144, 159, 240. Balerics just really started firing at the end there. I think they were hitting the Royal Thorax, so they didn't get a whole lot of kills. Uh, his Gallic Warriors, though, 110, 176. Two out of four. Good job. Sam Knights, 107 for the top. Libyan Infantry, 169, 141, 105, 152, and his Katare not able to make it to 100 kills. Getting it on to the attackers, we have Rubik's here first playing as Egypt, 1,918 kills, 153 with his general, 89 with that giant ballista. Tarnchi Cavalry, 123, Archers, 129, 144, so two out of the three, good good job. Uh, the Levy Thorio Spears, I mean, they didn't get a lot of kills, but the majority of those kills were from Javelins, so it's a pretty solid job there. Thorax Origin, 17, I'm sorry, 147, 140, 105, 159, 141, and 179. Then we have Goshibumi coming in with Athens, 1,458 kills for him. 198 with his general, Scorpion, 91. His archers, unfortunately, does not appear. They did very well. Uh, his Thorax Origin, 187, 129. Thorax 125 kills there. And then we have Neverine coming in playing as Syracuse, 1,771 kills. 85 with the general, 162 with his Thessalian, though. Good job. His Cretan archers, looks like they all did uh, three out of the four. 145, 140, 120. Sicilian Peltas with 148. Rest of his elites, we got 116, 152 there, 90, so it's kind of close. The mercenary hoplites here, 250 and 115, 
and his native Sicilians. One unit there with 50 kills. That's crazy. But, all right, guys, there you go. That is the end of today's battle replay. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to hit the like button, drop some comments, share the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one.